Okay friends, we are back again and this is the last theory of failure that is the maximum distortion energy theory. Now maximum distortion energy is the advancement done in the in maximum strain energy theory. And maximum distortion design. Now let's see what is maximum distortion energy theory. Now this works as I told you it is a advancement of strain energy theory. So here also maximum distortion strain energy there is torsion strain energy per unit volume in a biaxial strain system it is also called a st shear strain energy okay in a biaxial stress system reaches the limiting distortion energy that is distortion energy at yield point at yield point here is considered the yield point because you know that uh, strain it is considered for yield point after that the yielding started Yield point per unit volume as determined from a simple tensile test. At that point, the component will get failure because yielding started. That means a failure started. So strain energy or distortion energy works before till the yield point only. Okay. Now the mathematical formula for it, it is sigma t1 plus sigma t2 square minus 2 times sigma t1 to sigma t2 equal to sigma yt1 factor of safety bracket square. This theory is applicable for for multiple stresses also. In FEA packages, you will find stress related to this that is Henke or von Mises theory. You will find a word von Mises everywhere. Distortion energy theory, it is nothing but a von Mises theory. And maximum time this theory gives a better result. Therefore, shear stress theory and distortion energy theory are mostly used in designing. Even the normal stress theory is also. So these th three theories are very useful in designing the component. Now let's see. It is used for ductile material. Okay. It is nothing but difference between the total strain energy and the strain energy due to uniform stress. Now let's see. One more thing. I I want to show you something which is asked in examinations also. That is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 square plus sigma 2 wherever the three stresses are there we all know that at that time the sigma 1 sigma 2 three stresses are there at that time we use this formula okay as per the song now what happens if suppose sigma 3 is equal to 0 and factor of safety is equal to 1 then if you are going to put 1 here then it is what 2 times sigma 2 sigma y t square Okay, and 3 is 0, that means here minus sigma 1 square, here sigma 2 square, and here sigma 1 minus sigma 2. Let's see the equation. Okay, this is how we resolve it. Now, the next thing is what? After resolving it, we get sigma 1 square minus sigma 1 into sigma 2. Okay, plus sigma 2 square. This is 2 times sigma, this sigma 1, sigma 2 is 2. So this 2 2 will get cancelled. So only this term is here into sigma y t square. Now for torsion cases, what happens? Sigma 2 is equal to minus of sigma 1, which is equal to shear stress rate tau. So what we will get? That is tau square plus tau square plus tau square equal to sigma y t square. That means 3 times tau square equal to sigma y t square. So if we get if we square both set at what will get root 3 times tau is equal to sigma yt or you can say tau is equal to 1 upon root 3 into sigma yt this equation can be written as 0. 0.577 times sigma yt so the shear stress in a component should be 0. 0.577 times sigma yt as per the distortion energy theory Maximum time it is being asked in the examination that tau is equal to 0.577 sigma y to prove it. So this is how you can prove it. Okay, it's a very simple thing. Now, as I told that this theory is having on a uh, is based on a limiting energy of distortion. That is the energy associated with shear strain only. Then strain energy can be separated into energy associated with volume change and distortion of the body. So the maximum distortion energy failure assume failure by yielding in a more complicated loading situation also. That means for volume also and for shear strain also. That's why this theory is good for designing for ductile material. Now this theory provides the best arrangement between experiment and theory. 
along with Tresca theory, it is widely used. As I told you, that Tresca it is shear stress theory and distortion energy, both in the combination, is widely used. So, this is how we completed all the theories of failure. Now, we are going to see the numerical based on the theories of failure. Thank you.